The XFL, a chance for guys to not only keep their football career alive, but also potentially play in the NFL one day. This is a legitimate league where guys can go to get a second chance and keep their quote unquote dream alive. Now in this video, I show y'all my journey traveling to San Diego to go to a specialist XFL showcase camp hosted by Nick Novak, and I'll show my time at the camp during the video and results at the end. Let's get to it. I don't know if they provide clothing or not at this XFL showcase, so bring in my athletic clothes. I wake up, check some down that check. No drip this. Grace. Can I travel on the plane with pre-workout powder? Her dad's a pilot. Uh, I've never tried that. I would look it up. Oh, Grace. Yes. Up, then I have to get an Uber if you can. Yeah, we're not doing that. Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Hang gang, I'm at my gate. This XFL tryout, I'm really curious to see how it goes, you know. This is another chance I've been grinding after getting cut from the Dolphins. Now, I've never been to San Diego before. I do have a hotel reserved, but I do not have a rental car yet, and I don't know if I'm gonna get a rental car or Uber yet. I'm thankful that just the Lord's in control and that he's guiding my steps at the end of the day, so I can't lose no matter what happens. Have a great rest of your night. Welcome to San Diego. What's up, bro? Hey. <laughs> How are you leaving the painting? Oh. <laughs> Thanks, bro. I just ordered my Uber. It is roughly eight minutes away, and it was roughly $67. I don't know how much the rental car was here, but that seemed like way more of a hassle, and this is a business trip after all. Also, I have no idea why this airport here is constructed in such a way where everything's under construction. Hello. Hey, how's it going? Good. Just had my like $100 Uber ride and I should have taken a video outside the window when we passed the gas station, but the gas here was like $6 a gallon. But hey, it is beautiful weather out here. It's technically like 9.30, which really means it's like 11.30. My time, Texas time. Hello, I'm checking in. Are you Chris Lyons, husband? No, what are the odds of that? Uh, am I stuck? Please don't tell me I'm stuck. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Bro, these prices are getting out of hand. This was like $300. Please subscribe. First hotel ever in San Diego. Let's see the impressions. Okay, okay. Not too schnazzy, not too schnazzy. We can work with this, we can work with this. I don't know why I'm talking like that. Bruh. Actually a solid view, not gonna lie. We're not here for enjoyment. We're here for business. But we are commanded in the book of Philippians to rejoice always. I'm really hungry. I saw some hot pockets down there. So hopefully there is a microwave in this room. I haven't looked yet, but I'm hoping there is. Because 
I don't feel like getting another $70 Uber to go to the nearest Taco Bell. Aha, let's go. Thank the Lord. Time, but. Proverbs 16.3, commit your work to the Lord. He'll establish your plans. If you're familiar with my channel, you'll know that, you know, after my time at Oklahoma and just my college football career, by the grace of God, finished with a good career. Bottom line, I'm just being honest with you guys. It's like reality TV show. I'll be honest. I thought I was going to get drafted after my last year at Oklahoma. I did the whole path to the NFL draft series. Ended up going undrafted. Made a video about it too. You know, I rented out an Airbnb. My family came. Obviously, that was a pretty difficult time to traverse because, you know, signed with the Miami Dolphins and then got released before even playing in a preseason game, which made it really hard to sign with the team because a lot of teams, you know, they need to see that game film uh, if they're ever going to pick you up or sign you. But I did recently have a workout with the Kansas City Chiefs, so that was encouraging to see and to experience. I'm thankful to be here. I'm thankful for the opportunity. It's an invite only, and maybe I play spring football in the XFL or whatever it's going to be called, the USFL and the XFL are merging. Or maybe I don't and still get to play an NFL roster or never. You know, I just don't know. So it's only up to the Lord to decide. I know I'm going to keep the faith and just keep working hard. And at some point I will stop trying to make a professional football team and focus all in on YouTube and going forward what else I'm going to do, but hopefully encourage you on your journey, no matter where you are at in life. Keep going, keep the faith, trust the Lord. And at the end of the day, if you know you have Jesus and your sins are forgiven, you already won the biggest battle. I'm waking up bright and early. I plan on waking up at like 5 a.m. So I should probably get some sleep. I see you. It's pretty early. It's like 6.20. Thankfully, uh, my Uber finally got scheduled because at first it was like delaying by like 20 minutes to find somebody but i think they're actually here right now all right gotta go i thought that was them but actually they're coming around the corner now when i first showed up i was really hoping i was in the right spot because i was like the only one there and then i realized it was just because i was super early okay good run the right spot run the right spot and i saw the guy that ran the camp and other workers but i was the first participant there they got first corinthians 10 31 whether you drink whatever you do do it all for the glory of god that's actually one of the verses i say a lot on this channel there's really no wind right now so for punters and kickers this is ideal and then also can you get a better view than that answer probably not feels like i'm in braveheart the movie here since I was early, there was some waiting around, but I also hydrated and stretched out, and they gave me some nice clothes that I could change into. More guys started showing up, and we were about to officially check in. And I was excited to start the workout pretty soon. As I was waiting, I noticed this bag of XFL footballs, and I've never punted these before, so I wanted to get a look and see how they felt. And they actually felt pretty similar to NFL balls. At 7.30 is when the check-in began, but I realized this is when it just began, so you could show up later and still check in. But I like to get to things early, and I'm glad I did. Hi. Michael Turk. Michael Turk. Are you a snapper? Uh, punter. Punter. Right. Thank there you. There As you can see, the line was getting much longer now, so glad I knocked that out. Bruh. One number away from a number in college. But shout out Josh Blaster. More waiting around before we officially begin, but that's okay. That gave me some time to feel out this XFL ball and practice my drop. Now we were getting our pictures taken. I'm not quite sure what for, but I took my picture. And now I was putting on my cleats and just trying to figure out when I should start warming up because I had a general idea of the schedule, but obviously I didn't know exactly how it would go down. So for punters and kickers, or really any athletes, this is always a balance of making sure you're ready, but not doing too much. And gang, we're about to get started here. What up, bro? Hey, we're going to have a great hey, day today. That's right. All right. I went to Lafayette College first and then Rutgers. Same school we started out at. Shout out Noodleberg. Let's go. <laughs> so with more guys showing up and getting closer to the time where we have the punter workout, this was a perfect time to build some chemistry with Rogo and catch his snaps and work on my steps and drop. He was a super nice guy and a great long snapper. And it's crazy that we started out our college careers at the same school. Shortly after that, I decided to start tapping some footballs and met another friend, this time a punter. Let's go, bro. This guy was hitting bombs. How are you feeling today, bro? 
Feeling good. Hopefully uh, hit about a 6.5 hang time. Uh, <laughs> I'm going for 6.7. Being in this environment is fun because you're around other people who also poured out a lot of time, energy, and effort into trying to master this craft. So it's fun to be around them. It felt good to start warming up and see how the XFL ball fell off the foot. This guy's hitting dingers. Something slight. He's been sitting around for a while. Still boots it. Right. More time passed by, and it was now the long snapper's time to shine. They were getting a group demo and instruction on what they were going to be doing, and really for long snappers, it's about your short snap and long snap and overall athleticism. Good job. Nice snaps, bro. Yes, sir. Let's go. We're up one. Hold on first. We're good. We're good. It's awesome. <laughs> it's right. The snappers are still going. Punters don't go probably for like another hour. I'm not up for another hour, so I'm just staying loose, stretching. Praise the Lord. Let's go. This is pretty fun. As the snappers were going, I was continuing to loosen up and stay ready for when it was my time to start punting. And in these types of workouts or tryouts, again, you want to make sure that your body's ready, but you're not overdoing it. So it's a balance of stretching, but not too much. I decided to walk over to this tent area where there was a massage table to help me stretch. And thankfully, there was a woman who was there who was actually designated to help the athletes warm up. She was super helpful and nice, and she actually approached the tent because she saw me stretching. And she was able to help with certain movements and stretches that really helped loosen up my hamstrings and my hip flexors so ma'am if you're watching this thanks again for your help and i'm glad that this camp provided such help for the athletes it was almost my guy rogo's time for the short snap so i was helping him warm up and he was spot on not good The field was pretty busy, but I do like at this camp how guys were able to still use it even when the long snappers were training. And really, it was kind of a free for all just for guys to warm up to their own liking before they were up. Yo, Rogo. This guy was balling out on the shorts. Now he's got longs. Nice. With the punter workout starting soon, I obviously had to get ready and couldn't record myself punting. It's been a long journey for me and I've put a lot of hours into training and punting and some days are better than others. For this workout, I had around eight punts total and to be honest, I had some great punts but also had more missed hits than I would have liked. Overall, it wasn't my greatest day, but it's okay because I know it happened for a reason and it's just another step on this journey that the Lord is ultimately in control of. What up, hang gang? <laughs> Say what up to my dog, Kevin. What up, Kevin? How we doing? It's crazy who you might run into again in life. I used to play with Kevin five years ago at Arizona State. He was a good friend. Go reunion here, huh? Yes, sir. This guy's still getting after it. Great kicker, great punter all around. Freaking specialist. Let's go, bro. Keep finding yes, a good fight. Yes, sir. Love y'all, hang gang. Thanks for watching. Lord willing, I'll see you in the next one. Grace, love, peace, and mercy.